Ya. There he is. Is there such a thing as too much gun? Possibly, but when it's a pest control job and not a meat hunt, then probably not. Paul's squirrel problem is so great, he's even had his underkeeper and volunteers out in the high seats at dawn to try to stop the greys destroying even more of his emerging maize cover crop. Slight overkill, but you can't get close to them, so you've got to shoot them with a big rifle, unfortunately. This crop's a really good maize crop. Um, drives goes back across the Amptra Road, it's called. What they're doing, they're coming out, and because they're used to feeding on the, on the maize when it was obviously uh, fully mature, um, we were late cutting this year, so, so these squirrels are getting used to coming and feeding here. Um, and if you notice, this is not too bad, this one. I'll show you another one in a minute, but this one, what they're doing, obviously, is digging out, digging them out. And you can tell it's a squirrel because they're, they'll go through the, the kernel, 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 that's the word we're looking for. They dig it out, eat the, the, the wheat, the germ out of it, and, uh, and then go on. Let's see this one here, look. It's got to the point where you've got other guys actually out on the <laughs> yeah. cover crops dealing with them. Yeah, we've got one area that they're, they're hammering the, the, the first sort of like six, six, seven, eight meters. They're actually hammering it that much that I've got a guy coming in early this morning because we were out stalking this morning. There's a guy coming in there specifically just to go on there, wait with his 1.7 and um, to try and get some of the squirrels. Sam the keeper, he's got um, rail traps up through the wood um, with fen traps in. Um, he's got a couple of um, tunnels and got piles of wheat there as well. So we're trying to feed them away there so we can shoot them on the piles of wheat. Um, but they're all running straight past that, straight to the, to, the, to the maize, which they were used to feeding on. Paul wants to show us more damage. On the way there, he spots a corvid on the cover crop he was shooting over from a hide a few weeks ago. He's very particular about the way he presents the animals. Do you always present your vermin like that? <laughs> yeah, naturally. Do it all the time. Yeah, it's, I don't know, still, even though it's vermin, still got respect for it. You know, it's not, even though they really cost me money and really make me quite angry, um, I don't know, I still just put it in so it looks half tidy, you know. Clean freak. <laughs> This is the field with the most damage. There's a big financial commitment at risk here. Yeah, telltale signs that squirrels, not you know, crows pecking out and eating it. Like little piles where they go back and sit and nibble on it and come back out and grab another one. Another one here, look. We've done the 2217 shotgun, got traps out, so dudes, now all methods. Now he's just tickling quietly with the truck and you can see him come out the wood at 200 meters away and you just smoke them, um, which, is, which is great, but you know, it's two quid a bullet, whatever it is, but I think it's probably worth it in the long run. You shoot 10, ten squirrels doing damage on here is, is uh, you know, worth every penny. Oh. See him? You'll get him, don't worry, he's in, he's in serious numbers. On another scoot around, we come back to where we started and more squirrels are on the move. Flush. <laughs> here we go. Oh, crafty little suckers, aren't they? Might get a couple more come out after I shoot mine. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. Not the... Yeah, so basically what these squirrels are doing here, I've got the game crop on the other side there. They're coming up from this dense woodland here, coming up through, crossing the track and getting out to the uh, cover on the other side. So it's a good little ambush point and a bit of a flush of squirrels. Leaving to go back to the lodge, he spots a very long range corvid. It's not a game crop, but he does what he can to help the farmer. Good shot. 
standard. That was 380, I reckon. Yeah, 380. Not bad for a crow. It's been a fruitful, if expensive, hours shooting, but reducing the local grey population is never a waste of time or money.